Yeah, so I'm going to be at the uh, ACE conference in Toronto. It's also the uh, world premiere of Unacknowledged uh, in Canada, and that's going to be uh, at the ACE conference at their host hotel. And, and you, everyone is invited. Uh, it'll be Saturday evening, and I'll have a, a Q&A, a question and answer period afterwards, and we hope people will uh, partake of that. And uh, then I'm uh, giving a presentation at the conference on Saturday and then Sunday doing a uh, all afternoon workshop for people, which will be the focus is going to be how the intelligence community has infiltrated the UFO uh, subculture over the last 60 years uh, and what that means in terms of disinformation that has populated uh, the subject and what we can do about it and also what to look for. Uh, when when information comes out that begins to masquerade as disinformation. Uh, the other part of it is going to be how everybody who, who we, we get thousands of emails say, what can we do to help? What can we do for disclosure? A big thing you can do is network this to other people, of course. Uh, and I think that's number the reason why we're still number one on iTunes after six weeks, which is unprecedented for a documentary. But I think we're really wanting to focus on that this is a shift in consciousness, that if people can become ambassadors to these civilizations in a large enough number, they're going to want to make contact with humans more and more openly. A lot of people say, why don't they just land on the White House lawn or you know, do something like that? I say, well, the reason they don't is that they have a policy of nonviolence uh, and non-intervention. I know it sounds very Star Trek-y. But it, we humans have to reach out to these extraterrestrial civilizations in a way that shows them that we're ready for contact. And that's the Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind Initiative, is when humans go out using advanced concepts of meditation and a non-locality of consciousness to make contact with these civilizations and invite them to make contact with us. We just got back uh, about two weeks ago from uh, an expedition in Arizona that was amazing for the amount of contact we had. We literally had uh, extraterrestrial beings that appeared and disappeared in our circle. We had a craft that appeared the very first night, four lined up in a row, materialized and dematerialized. Uh, we have some amazing photos and images of that. So I'm going to go through some of the uh, CE5 type experiences we've had and teach people how to make contact and how to be an ambassador from humanity to these civilizations on Sunday afternoon. But to do that, you also have to understand what the counterintelligence programs are that are out there faking things so that you're not fooled by the fakery and by the, the, the hoaxed uh, ET events. Um, and I think this is the biggest thing that people miss. And that is for 70 years, the intelligence community has had a running start on everyone putting out false information and they're still doing it. And so if you're going to be an ambassador of these civilizations, you have to do it in a way that you're fully informed. And that's what this four hour webinar and uh, uh, workshop is going to be about. So if you can't be in Toronto uh, that weekend, I hope you can join us by webinar. And it's going to be a, a very intensive tr a journey through uh, this entire subject uh, from the 40s till now and how the intelligence community has uh, infiltrated it, but also how we can overcome that disinformation and counterintelligence operation by becoming ambassadors to these civilizations and groups all over the world. There are now tens of thousands of people doing this, by the way. And I think that when it reaches a critical mass in the hundreds of thousands or millions, that's going to signal to the ETs that humans are ready for open contact. Um, with both the film Serious and Unacknowledged, We've actually never had in a premiere where afterwards um, there was an opportunity to do uh, question and answers with the audience. So uh, we're going to do that in Toronto. People have asked for it. So on Saturday night, uh, stay tuned and uh, either by a webinar for the Q&A or if you're there in person. And then the uh, workshop, I hope people will understand that if you if you become an ambassador of these civilizations, what they're looking for are people who are free of prejudice and are open-minded and are willing to make contact with them for peaceful purposes, which is the mission we have. Our motto is one universe, one people.